Just want to see how you're holding it? Yeah, that, that I'm not sure exactly. Okay. Consider me a lump of clay. I'm ready to be molded. Okay, I love so, it. Uh, so usually what I do is I get a good... I just lock up. Love it. I'm not going to change your grip. No, nope. all that stuff looks fine ball position we'll talk about but i don't think we need to change too much and pick up i like what i'm seeing so you make a pretty good swing you can see that you know you get the club really high your hats are, your gloves above your head the club's in a good spot like all the stuff looks really good as you start to come down into the golf ball you know, it's that the arms out racing your body yeah and what i'd like to see is that we try and find a way to get to so much speed because they're using their inside to whip the outside yeah i find a lot of times i try and hit it hard and i use all arms for the first little bit we're going to tee some up just so we don't have this like urge to smash the golf ball all right so once you take it back to here things look pretty good it's we're going to try and find a way to keep the golf club behind you as you start turning to the target so if i were to look at setup right here impact is more like there yeah. right if I, so if I move the club okay and turn my body there's impact impact is almost like off your left side yeah. right so if I stuck the club in you here you've got to find a way to wind it up and get it back to the ball yeah. without it going like this where the hip doesn't move so I always feel like I'm, I'm like bringing it it's like following it's like not going it's not turning around as, as, as it should. I always, right. I, feel like, I always feel like I'm hitting it late. Yeah. And that's why it always goes left. Totally. Okay. So, backswing stuff, like I mentioned, is pretty good. From this view here, I want you to try to feel like your turn, call it from here down, has to outrace your right arm. Right? It has to start turning and get more in front than the right arm going like that. And that's where the arms kick in and they go too much around you. So zipper on your jacket that's the middle of you that's your midline in the back swing the arms go to the left of your midline but they only catch up to the midline once i'm here right so I'm, it's still left of my mid still left of my mid still left then it catches up there but if we start this way and we bring the club down to the midline to hit it and it starts to pass that's the one where the club doesn't hit the ground and it can be any type of variation of the face yeah. right left high low that's whatever like, i feel like the club is like the question mark where it's gonna i feel it's like a loose in my hand okay so your grip is really good so give it a you know a good seven out of ten kind like, of squeeze yeah, how, how, i'm always like do i hold it like very firm or? well this club the club bends in your swing when you do it well and i can't bend the golf club without my knuckle going white so therefore i'm squeezing it hard okay so we're gonna go back like this a good grip on the club but loose with the arms because yeah. if your arms are squeezing they're ready to fire yeah. across you and what we don't do in the swing is this type of motion right i'm not trying to get my arms to go around my body like that i want my arms to go to my left stay to my left as i turn and then they catch up to the middle of me so we're gonna go good back swing feel like the club stays down here behind you notice the direction i'm trying to put it in right that's my axe chop that's my yeah. club going up and down but as i turn that's when it gets like stuck or placed behind me so 
club going down in that direction, I'm going to leave a hole for us to use. So club going down in that direction as you feel like you turn the front of you to the target. have to work on that definitely and I think that you like biomechanically you get stuck you yeah. you squeeze those muscles to allow your arms to power the grip yeah. and I don't want that I want your body to whip your arms around right like my best shots are always been the most relaxed okay and I'm always like oh I want to hit it hard but so we want to kill it most casual like swing is yeah always like with no power just like a good good swing and that's what we're looking for. I gotta work on that. Okay, so like I said, back swing is good. So take it up to the top for me and hold it up there. Okay, so if the arms do the right thing and your body doesn't move, the arms go down that way. Okay. All right, but if you turn, impact. All good. We'll keep going with that. So the, the off balance thing for almost every golfer happens when they try to use the, power the swing with their upper body, yeah. right? It's like shooting a cannon on skates. Here's a little exercise that we can do to get the feeling of like activating your body. All right, so I'll be your mirror. Set up to it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hold the club like that. And you'll notice that my shoulders, my arms, and the club make like a rectangle. Yep. Okay, I want to feel like I can turn back and keep the rectangle, right? And then turn my body through and keep the rectangle. But you, if the second that I start pulling on the club, notice how I break it. My arms bend and I break down. So I'm trying to feel like all of this stays still as I turn back that way and I turn through that way. And you're trying to keep the, the structure of this rectangle. Gotcha. Big turn. Look down here. Okay, and all the way through. Good, now do that faster. Gotcha. But keep your eyes, keep your hat pointed down here. Full turn, full turn. Good, one more time. Hold your finish on the next one. And through. Hold it there. Yes. Yeah. I need wow. to work on my stretches. It, you just you're locked in here. We gotta let that go. So take it up to the top. Okay, I need that knee. Bring this knee all the way to my club. Drag it, slide it, push it. Now stand tall. Lead leg straight. There, that's your finish. So we've got you turned, this leg straight, and that knee caught up to that knee. Okay. So when I like when I play golf and I'm actually out there with my swing thoughts, my swing thought for almost every swing off the ground is trying to get my right knee all the way touching my left knee. And that's when I know my pivot's done. I know I finished my swing when my knees touch. So we're looking for rectangle, knees touch. And that's, that's what gets the lower body turned. At the lower body turns, everything above the knees goes with it. Wonderful. Now, if you can't get the left knee to the right knee, your stance is too wide should have one shoe between your ankles, one wide shoe between your ankles. Yeah, big turn, tall knee squeeze. All right, one more time, take it back, okay, all right, start getting the knees together. There, that's your lower body leading your upper, well done. 
So your intention is to get the knees to squeeze before the club even starts coming down. Yes. Come on, take a look. Good. Good. What's that? Garbage cans. A garbage cans full of balls today. The record in a day is five cans. We had five cans one day. Four people? Four people, nine to four, five cans. You put that effort to really like finish off, but it's totally unnecessary. It is because all you're doing is pulling on the grip yeah. and that's going to lag the club head. Exactly. Right? Like, it puts your whole body out of the, not synchronous, but like out of the shape you should be in too. It, technically, it's over lagging it. Yeah. So the and, golf club. For me, it always throws off my balance because I'm trying to finish really strong in the back and right. I'm really pulling it and then. That's like you said, if the club is actually coming too late. Yeah. And then that's why, I, like, I always slice, uh, slice that way or? Uh, pushes and slices, yeah. Whatever, yep. I always go yep. that way because yep. I'm always trying to, and I'm always hitting like this, basically. Yeah, so I'm the more that we, and, and the more we open. pull the handle, the more the face is open. Exactly. So the club is, the club acts like a seesaw, like yeah. a teeter-totter. So as long as I can pull the bottom of the club down, right, get the club down fast this way, as I stand up, it pulls on the grip. The pulling up on the grip puts the club in the ground. Yeah. It's not me pushing it into the ground. It's the fact that I brought it down hard and now I'm standing. And pulling that grip up is what teeter-totters the thing through the ground and pulls it back out again. Which is why you can take big divots like this and not break your wrist. Because yeah. it's going down and then up. Yeah. So, you know, the more that we can feel like you've got this motion coming down, slowing things down, right, decelerating things from there, and standing up to the knee squeeze, that club is going to really kick out and snap and whip. Gotcha. That's, that's our hey, game plan. What about, uh, like, shoulders? Yeah? Like, uh, like, how much of a kind of dip down should there be? Uh, there's a lot of dip down, but you do it well. Yeah? Yeah. So it's like not too much? You really can't go too much because the lower you go, that means the more you can jump up and that's a big power source, right? Gotcha. But you, for what we're doing, you do it just the right amount. Okay. And it wouldn't be something like you practice this every day for a year. Okay, now we'll get to it. I hate that kind of golf instruction where it's yeah. like, oh, do this and then once you're better, we'll give you what you really need. No, no, no. You're doing everything what you need right now. And if you keep doing this, like you won't need any more lessons. Yeah. The rotation was, I, I felt like that's my biggest, uh, like, I, I know I'm okay here, but like yeah. you said, the, just the small point that you showed, I always had a problem with coming down. Yeah. Because I was like, I, I feel, I always feel like I don't know where the club's going to be. Yeah. Like, you kind of have, like, I'm, like, you should kind of know where it's going to be coming down. So I was always like a question mark. Like, and so as I long as the, I, as down. long as the idea is that the club, the club goes down, yeah. it doesn't go through yeah. and it definitely doesn't go back up again. Gotcha. That's right. Yeah. So take the rectangle back and then knee squeeze and tall. That's it. That's all I want you to do today. And the faster you do that in practice, the harder you'll hit the ball. Yeah. So if, if that's how you're going to practice, like get the energy going. Like, uh, would you recommend this as a warm up as well? Like a stretch? Or I'd recommend like you can do this for your work at home. Yeah. Do it at home in the, like in one of your rooms, go in the backyard and do that. Like you don't need a golf ball for this. Yeah, no, definitely but not. The more you can feel like you keep the integrity of the rectangle without yeah. breaking it, right? And then from there, go rectangle to rectangle really fast and hard. Like, that's a core workout. Like, forget Pilates. You just do that for 10 minutes a day. Like, I, I feel like, like it's just also something to train my mind to be like, it's like A, B, C. You got it. Perfect. It's very, uh, yep. the whole thing. Because a lot of times I feel like, my arm should be here, I should be here. This makes it a lot like boom, boom, boom. The cool thing is like, I mean, I, I'm a studier of the game and when I like freeze every tour player at the top of their swing, they all look totally different with their arms and club, yeah. but they all look basically the same with their yeah. body. So a true fundamental is getting the pivot and the right turns yeah. and the right angles and then get it to be the engine. Yeah. Like I find watching tour guys to learn how to play golf is the worst thing you can do. It is. Because they're like, like you said, a million balls. They have their own way. It's totally. Like you can't be... Uh, but we don't have a thought bubble for their intention. So we see them do something and it's like, oh, look at him swing his arm and flip his wrists. Yeah. I need to do that. No. But that's a result of what he's doing. Yeah, for him, or like, her. Uh, I'm in this situation, that situation, and his mind is, and body, they're, they're like, boom, this is what I have to do. 
Yep. And he doesn't, there's no thinking involved. It's totally. Yep. And that's a million balls. So. so I'd recommend, like, do this little exercise here, yeah. and then hit maybe 10 balls off the ground, and then get to the driver and hit drivers. So where we get a bunch of our speed in the swing is in our transition. It's going from the top of the swing and starting down. So if it goes up to the top and you kind of stop and then initiate something, we lose our transition. Right? Like think about the gymnast holding the ribbon. When the, when the gymnast moves the arm fast, that's when it makes a really cool yeah. spin to it. So I want it to feel like, I'll do this right hand. That what we're doing is we're trying to change direction a little harder and as you change direction that's when you're going to stand up into your finish gotcha. but if this kind of has like a pause and a wait yeah. for it we just lose our lose our momentum yeah. right the jays pitcher's not going to go back and wait it's as the arm goes back they go forward and they find a the separation between ball and foot yeah and we need to try and find a separation between your club and the front of you getting to the target So from the top, the, the move into the ball is simply turning your body this way. So if I stood here like this, I don't, I, like, your club and arm shouldn't get to me. So set up to your shot. Okay, I want you to hit a ball imagining I'm standing here like this, and I don't want your arms to get all the way to mine. Close. The finish looked like this. Yeah. Tall with... Okay. You know, I want to like basically do that a whole bunch because I find now that head. That that's your motion. Good. Okay. So one more time. I'm always pulling. Up like this. Yeah, you. I'm not finishing. I should be finishing further out. I think. Yeah, it's not so much as it is further out as it has to get close further down. Yeah. The the reason that you're finishing over here with the hands high is because as the club comes into this, in toward the golf ball, you're pulling up on yeah. it. Right, so the. Because I have a gun, you guys don't have one. <laughs> what about John Daly, though? Yeah, that's what I was. That's, that's, that's what I always think to myself. I'm like, if he can hit it, what about me? Mm -hmm. His gut's massive. So if we've got the backswing piece, which I think you do really well, I want you to feel like the speed of your arms is just down to the ground, just down this way, and then if you stand up tall, that's when it'll finish in front of you. Not bad. Not too bad at all. Good. Give me another one like that. hard to know when to hit the brakes. Yes, it's before the club hits the ball. Because yeah. the brakes is a, the brakes leads to speed. Yeah. So if we want speed into the ball, the brakes are before. Okay, so do that same thing with the stand. Just get your body more forward and stand and the, the, the club would have hit the ball well. How's uh, my distance from the ball? Good. Your posture, your setup, your grip, 
all the basic how to set up fundamentals, they're fine. More speed. Now I've had people come through the schools that have grips that most people would change, set up a little bit awkward and flush the ball. So how you set up, like everybody's going to be different. There's no textbook. One more time, same thing, hold your finish. And then what's this, uh, so is my hand in the right position for this club? It's too far forward. Too far forward. Yeah. So based on the number, does it matter where I keep my hands? The hands are usually going to be either on top of the ball or just in front of the ball, but just in front. Not to not crazy lean forward. Okay, good. Make your swing from here. Hold it. Taller, taller. There, that's what I'm looking for. So getting that arm up, armpit up, straightens up your leg, gets you taller. There you go. Beautiful. So my right armpit. Left. The left armpit should be higher. Yep. Yeah. I'm trying to get your left leg and your left shoulder higher from the ground in your finish. That's your stand-up piece. Well done. Okay, so Let's cycle through our ideas here. Let's make sure that you take it back as far as you can take it back. Yeah. That's getting a little short. But I understand why it's short, because you're trying to do stuff later on. Yeah. And it's kind of like, if I take it short, I can get into that sooner. I get it. But let's just make sure we crank the back swing back a little farther. Like a whole, uh, oh yeah, you're gonna have a burger and a beer and pass out later. <laughs> exactly what my wife wants to do. <laughs> <laughs> I've already told my wife that's what I'm doing when I get home. Okay, seven iron. Okay, show me the rectangle move. And I want you to try to do this in the shortest amount of time. Good, one more time. So try, try not to speed up the rectangle, speed up your leg stand. There you go. If the legs get there first, it'll make things move faster. Okay, one more time, bring it back. Yeah, one more time, all the way through, hold it. Grip, hold it, long. So the rectangle integrity has to stay intact. But if this bends by pulling through, we lose it. And turn, yeah, there you go, that's the best one yet. Beautiful. Okay, get a breather and let's hit one. Okay, good move. Uh, make your backswing. The backswing, I'm not trying to get you to take it back there just for distance. I'm yeah. trying to get back there for a rhythm, like the sequence of things. You know, I look at the golf swing like it's like four guys on an assembly line. Yeah. If one guy shorts it, the other three are kind of in trouble. Yeah. Well done. That's what I want to see each time. Fantastic. Okay, give me a couple practice swings and I want to see how fast you can swing that club. I want to hear a loud swoosh in the air of that club going through. Okay, another one. Good, way better balance on that one. One more time. Good, okay, let's tee one up and hit it. Same swing, same speed.
<laughs> I'm going to tee it up just a little higher. That tee barely goes into the ground. There we go. So I leave the club off the ground, right? You can, yep. Um, so move your feet back this way more. There we go. So it's going to almost be off like the middle of your front shoe. Like I got a line here. Okay. That'll be like on that line. Yep. Cool. Like what you're doing in your backswing, everything looks good to here. But as you swing through, you're swinging through and pulling the club up all the way to here. And I want you to feel that you're swinging the club down into the golf ball. So the finished position with the driver almost looks like this. See how the club passed my hands? But when you come through and you're pulling the grip all the way up to here, the club never passes your hands until too late. And that's a huge power source. So trying to feel like you can go all the way up and let the club head past your hands, that's what's going to get it straighter. Okay. So, okay, take it up to the top of your swing, just a practice swing. Okay, now how do you get the club back down to the ball? See how I stopped you? Yep. Use your hands, get the club head back down, flip it and turn it, turn it. Okay, hold it there. That has to happen. Gotcha. Yes. That was different. Good for you. Yep. Bigger backswing and do that. Good. That's it. That was awesome. He'll do that again and hold your finish. See where your hands are? Yeah. Low and in front of you. Good stuff. So in terms of like practice for you, um, to get a hang of, I don't even want to say the proper mechanics, but better mechanics yeah. that lead to more speed is like, go to your backyard, just take one club, right? And try and feel like you swing it as fast as you can and bring it back and as fast as you can and just do this. Like do that, I don't know, Hank Haney on TV said, if you did that a hundred times a day for a week, your club speed should go up by 10 miles an hour, right? And it's just getting the feeling how to use your body to create speed all the way to the finish. And don't stop, it's back and through, and back and through. And just do that as much as you can until you wear yourself out. That could be your fitness for the day as well, yeah. right? That's a great way to get comfortable swinging fast so that when you go to the driving range, you're not searching for anything. Yeah. You're not training really for anything. You're you're implementing your speed and your, your uh, rectangle idea on the range. And a practice session literally should take 20 minutes. Gotcha. Bucket of balls. Half of them with the eight iron, half with the driver, and get out of there. The range isn't somewhere you go to search for something. Yeah. You have an idea, you go tackle it, and you leave. 